Okay, welcome to uh, part four of our tic-tac-toe class uh, tutorial. Uh, here's what we have so far. We have a functioning uh, tic-tac-toe game. And, I'm just gonna, and it will tell us who is the winner. We can restart and reset. Um, so kind of about it. Now let's, let's take a look at this idea. Let's, okay, so two, go to three. O is going to go five. It's actually harder than you think to get a tie game going. Um, I'm going to go to uh, let's see, four. Then I'll go to seven. Oops, that's not what I wanted. So O should choose nine. And X should choose six. Okay, so you can see we've got a tie game. Uh, but the program's still running, uh, which isn't particularly helpful. So we need to check for a tie game. Now, if you recall, uh, we are storing the information about our board in this list. So I've got zero here, which is kind of a dummy placeholder. We're not really using it. I've got cell one, cell two, cell three, cell four, cell five, cell six, cell seven, cell eight, cell nine. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to create a new board method. And again, it's going to be a true or false, returning true or false, because that's all we need to know. Is it full or not? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to call this define is tie, tie, and again, because it's a class, we're going to use self. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try to, you know, there's a couple different ways you can approach it, but uh, we'll do this. Um, so used cells equals zero. So we're assuming that right now the board is empty. So I'm going to go for cell in self.cells. So that's just iterating through this list. So if the cell does not equal space. So if this is not a space, that means it's an X or an O. So say used cells equals plus equals one. So we're gonna say used cells equals used cells plus one. So for each cell, that's not a space, we're going to add 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that means if there are, once this loop is done, if used cells equals 9, that means it's a tie. So we're going to return true, because that means the board is full. Uh, else, return false. Now I should, I should qualify that. Uh, we check for a tie after we check for a win. Because the board could be full, but there's a winning space. Okay, so like, you know, X has three in a row. But if we get past that, if there's no winner and nine cells are used, we know it's a, it's a tie game. Okay, so what we do is, so we check for a win, and then we're gonna check for a tie game. So I'm just gonna copy this. So instead of is winner, so is tie, and we're not passing anything to it. So I'm going to say print tie game. Okay. And oh, check for a uh, tie. And we'll need to do that also after O goes, depending on how the game plays out. Okay. So let's run it and try it. Oops, no space. 154. Oh. Let's run that again. Okay, one, two, three. Let's say a five, eight, four, six. Uh, let's see, O should go nine, and X should go seven. Tie game. Okay, because we filled up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there was no winner, so it checks for a tie game. So we play again, it should reset, or we could hit no, and it should stop. That's pretty simple. Um, yeah, you could have done something like, well, nah, that wouldn't even work very well. I think this is probably uh, one of the better methods to do it. Okay, so again, let's review that. So what we're doing is 
we've created a, a method for our class. So is the board tied? So we start out, we're assuming that the board is empty. So for each cell, so 0 through 10, this is a space also, so this is going to work. So if the cell is not a space, so that's an X, that's an O, we add 1 each time. So we go through each cell and check it. And once we're done checking, if nine of these are filled, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, this should never be filled because it's a uh, placeholder. Uh, we return true and we return false based on whether or not it is full. And that is that.